first country in Europe to record more than 50,000 deaths related to COVID-19. It's only the fifth country in the world to surpass the milestone, after the United States, Brazil, India and Mexico. The UK government, like those across the continent, is ramping up measures to curb further outbreaks as we head into winter. Evelyn Laverick reports. As grim milestones were marked in the UK and Italy, Boris Johnson's government was planning an evacuation-style operation to get students home safely for Christmas. When terms began, it triggered a major surge in COVID infections. The aim is to avoid the same in reverse, preventing infections among their parents and elderly relatives. Students in England will be tested twice before they leave and then allocated specific departure dates during a student travel window to lessen the risk of spreading the virus. Italy's unenviable one million tally of infections has forced the government there to innovate. With the second wave wreaking havoc on hospitals, some COVID-19 patients have been transferred to the Sheraton Parco de Medici Hotel. It's been equipped with oxygen cylinders and other medical necessities for the care of patients at various stages of the virus. Meanwhile, medics are still calling for another national lockdown. Elsewhere in Europe, Hungary has announced its strictest measures yet to slow the spread of infections. Among them, businesses must close at 7 p.m., restaurants are limited to home delivery, and high schools and universities are switching to digital education. Family gatherings are limited to 10 people, and a nationwide nighttime curfew has been ordered. I think these strict measures should have been taken before during the first wave of the epidemic, and then we would perhaps not be in this situation now. I feel we are getting stricter step by step, and the whole world is getting stricter, not only us, but everybody, because this is a danger to life. So this is not flu, but more than that. And Greece has announced stricter restrictions on top of a lockdown, extending a curfew nationwide between 9 p.m. and 5 a.m. after infections broke fresh records. Evelyn Laverick, Euronews.